You just need to do more content, guys. That's all it is. You guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. Now, if you're watching this, right, you're watching my content. So take this as I uh, interpreted, you know, this is contentception. So what I wanna to talk to you guys today about is that a lot of people are seeing out there video challenges. They're seeing uh, like, I've just gotta do more content. I've just gotta, you know, I've gotta do a thousand posts a day from Gary Vee, right? And what most people do wrong is that they think that's what they have to do to get started, right? And I'm just here to tell you that you don't have to do that right now. Now, why am I saying this? Well, because if you're someone who's starting out in business, if you're someone who is, maybe you've made your first few sales, you maybe you're doing five, 10,000, $15,000 a month in your business, you think, oh wow, to get to the next level, all I have to do is just produce all this content, right? Like you're watching content from me right now. That is not the case, big no to that, okay? You don't have to do that, right? And the reason why I wanna say this to you is because if you are someone who's in business, if you're doing anything less than like $50,000 per month in your business, don't even focus on or think about or your content production. Don't even worry about it, okay? You know, you hear a lot of from all the gurus saying you need to produce this, you need to produce that. And yeah, that's cool. However, they're saying that as people that are already successful in business, that as people who are already making money in their businesses, right? If they just stopped and just did that, their business would still tick over. They've got all a team, they've got all these people helping and supporting them. Whereas you, if you're watching this, maybe you're like some of our clients where it's just you or you and an assistant or you or maybe one or two other people. Don't worry about content production. Worry about creating a sustainable, repeatable process that you can use to bring clients in, right? So yes, does it work? Yes, in conjunction with a strategy to bring clients in. Okay, I don't want you to be thinking about, oh, I've just got to go out there and I've got to produce all this content. When you think about, this is our three advertising cycles that we talk about a lot. Number one is a conversion mechanism. Number two is list building. Number three is content production using our mogul method. And that's what we would advocate for you is no, don't just go out there and start producing all this content. That's third in the list for a reason, okay? Now, if you have all the money in the world, and you just wanna take your time and you're in no rush, then please, by all means, go ahead, start producing content, start putting it out there, utilize our mogul method, but unless you have the other two components down pat, it's not gonna be a good time. You're gonna spend all this time producing content, but if you don't have a succinct way to bring clients in, mm -mm, it's not gonna be a good time. So I wanted to do this video for you guys today, and this is the reason why I'm doing this content, is luckily we have a team, we have a succinct way of bringing in clients and leads. So it's more of a, do as I say, not as I do, right? Situation right now, where I'm saying, go out there and build your conversion mechanism. How are you gonna bring leads into your business? Make sure that that's repeatable. Make sure that it happens consistently and do that for five or six months. Make lots of sales, help lots of people. Then focus on building your list as fast as possible. Maybe you're gonna use a bot, email list, lead ad, something like that, whatever it is gonna be for you. Then start heavily focusing on your content production. If you do it the other way around, Right, it's just gonna take you so much longer to do it. And as small business owners, which I consider myself one of, you can't afford, literally can't afford, to wait six months for your content production to work, wait six months for people just to recognize you and have brand awareness and omnipresent. It doesn't work like that. You need to have, in conjunction with those plans, you need to have a process to bring leads in and convert them, right? Because otherwise, your business is going to go through the floor, right? And I don't want that for you. I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to get the best outcome possible or just have the most success possible. And the only way to do that is to leverage those three advertising cycles. So number one, start with that conversion mechanism. Don't worry about content just yet, right? Start with that conversion mechanism. Get that happening, get that rocking and rolling, then move on to it, okay? So now if you're going, cool, that sounds good, Kim, but how do I then focus on that at the beginning? Like, what should I be looking for? Two things, number one is a consistent way to bring those leads in. Number two is a consistent way to convert those leads, right, to make those sales. If you don't have those two things, it doesn't matter. Your content could be the best in the world, but ain't nothing gonna happen from that, okay? So you need to focus on number one, building that. And then the, the easiest way to do that to start off with is testing with what we like to do with a lot of our clients, like a litmus test, just dipping your toe in the water, which is a lead ad. A Facebook lead ad is something that's super simple, easy to use, allows you to build a consistent pipeline of leads that you can have a conversation with, then 
have a conversation with them. Now, if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how to have a conversation with people, um, if you don't have a repeatable process for your sales, i.e. a script, you need that as well. Because otherwise what happens is that you can't control what happens each time you have a conversation on the phone. You don't know what things you're going to change, how things are gonna be different. If every time it's like, oh, hey, I'm just gonna to speak to this person about my products and services and see and cross my fingers and hopefully I'll be able to um, encourage them to enroll in my products and services, it's not gonna be a good time, right? We wanna have a process around everything, a system around everything. You know, we work with a lot of our clients and we help them become certified bowlers and moguls in their industry, but it's because we help them implement systems into the business, right? We help them implement those systems in there. And if you wanna see how that works, you know, I'll tell you guys a little bit later. And if you wanna see how we can help you do that, you just head to Certified Baller, www.certifiedballer.com.au. That's www.certifiedballer.com.au. And we'll share how we can help you do that if you're unawares but otherwise guys what you need to focus on right is purely purely getting those two things in place if you get those two things in place it's going to be happy days you're going to be off to the races so stop focusing on what all the gurus out there are telling you and just produce all this content and focus on bringing leads into your business having conversation with those leads and then making money and helping more people because we all know that's what you actually need to do Okay guys, I hope you get this message. I hope you understand and you appreciate it because I've been seeing everyone out there doing these, these video challenges, just forcing you to do content. Gary Vee saying post a thousand times a day. Gary, what are you doing to people, mate? What are you doing to people, right? That's not what you need to do. You need to bring leads in, make sales and help more people. Okay, and if you want to understand how we can help you do that too, head to www.certifiedballer.com.au that's www.certifiedballer.com.au and we'd be more than happy to help you put a plan in place to help you achieve that, right? But otherwise, guys, until next time, adios.